Right, Angus, what a week it's been for Elgin City. For you, you've been starting games on a, on a regular basis now, playing a big part in this revival in the promotion race. Yeah, uh, it's good to get in the squad, also. I've had to be patient. Um, but I feel since I've came in, I've put a good shift in. Um, the gaffer knows I'm adaptable, so he can play me right back, centre back, or in the middle of the park. And I feel with the amount of games we've got coming up, it's important just to stay fit, and I'm glad I've taken my opportunity. And I've got the chance. Because there's been a bit of a tactical kind of re-switches. Um, no, the, the sides, the whole shape of the side has kind of been altered uh -huh. since the, the Albion Rovers defeat. Yeah. And what a difference it's made. I think we just wanted to be a bit more disciplined. Um, and with being disciplined, we're also clinical. We've seen it Shanar on Tuesday night. We've got four early goals. And then tonight, we'll take our chances. And if we're solid at the back, we're going to get results. So it's been a positive change um, in formation. And I think it's worked very well. Well, we know you can play the defensive role, we know you can put the tackles in and play the, play the strong role, but for the third goal tonight, you played a crucial part as well coming forward. I know, <laughs> I didn't think I had that in me. Um, I seen Kane make a great run, and I just wanted to make sure I timed the pass perfect so he was still inside, and lucky enough, it was it worked out a good goal in the end. Now, you're not the first mailer to play for Elgin City, I understand. I, my old man played a um, good, good bit of time ago, he only was, got an injury, um, but he was here for a year, I think, after being at Montrose. So. I remember, following in his footsteps. <laughs> I can remember one game where he scored at both ends here at Borough Briggs, an, an own goal and, a, and one at the right end. Aye, he's had plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be the lightest for you, obviously, getting your, your Aye, big senior he's, chance. He's been a good inspiration to me and he's always kept me confident, especially when I've not been playing. He's just been motivating me to do well when I come on. Um, and I've been doing that and I think I've deserved my chance in the team and hopefully we can kick on and get a place in the playoffs. Well, you've had to be patient. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a, there's, there's a big squad there and mm -hmm. such a strong bench at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think. It's a team game, so everyone's got to play their part. I think the subs who came on tonight and on Tuesday, we've seen out the game perfectly tonight and on Tuesday, so I feel there's a good togetherness in the team and the momentum in the changing room after the game is brilliant and the boys are really confident and that we'll go and get another result on Saturday. Well, we can hear the noise in the, in the atmosphere there in that changing room just now. The, mm -hmm. the, the buoyancy is there and, and the guys really must be just looking for, as much as I say looking forward to the next game, you know, it's, 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 it's your third game in, in four days. Exactly, I know boys just need to keep keep fit and look after themselves the next next 36 hours before our next game. Um, a lot of posit positivity in the changing room and I feel, especially after the Albion Rovers game, you see the difference between the lows and the highs and what a, what a difference a week can make. Um, and we'll go down to Edinburgh on Saturday really confident that we can go and get a result. One of the words that Gavin's been using recently is it's a non-footballing word, word really, it's yoga. Uh, has this been the part of the, the I think the yoga has helped. We've been doing that since the lockdown actually. Um, we did it once a week and we've been doing it a lot of nights on the Zoom call after games. And it's just keeping boys fresh and looking after themselves and I think it's, it's actually helped us. And especially when we've got so many games coming up, it's important for us to do the yoga and stretch and look after ourselves and make sure we're prepared for the next game. Because there's still work to be done in this, you know, you're know, mm -hmm. in a great position at the moment, you've third, almost just on goal difference from second, Yeah. but it's so tight between second and uh -huh. fifth, isn't it? I think it's in our hands now, so we just have to go and just be confident we can go and beat Edinburgh. Um, I think they beat us 1-0 down there last time, it was a tight game, but we know we've, we've got the players and we've got the squad and we're capable enough of going there and getting a result.